every dynasty that you recognize as great, whether it's some sports team or whether it's some government or or whether it's uh, some some triumph of uh, of whatever whatever team, right? They did it as a team. Do you get that? They did it as a team. Okay, so what helped me get rid of the World War II mentality that I had to do absolutely 100% everything myself was to simply uh, adapt what I called, or at least what, I mean, I actually think that, I mean, what I'm about to share with you, you probably say, oh yeah, I heard that shit before. But I actually think that, you know, I'm coining this for, my, for, for, for me as an entrepreneur, as what I call, and I'm gonna share with you right now, what I call um, the day principle. Okay, the day principle is what I believe every entrepreneur and business owner uh, should adapt, right? And why should they adapt the day principle, which I'm going to explain to you what the acronym day, D A E, actually means, okay? Why you should adapt the day principle because the day principle actually help you stop majoring in minor things. And majoring in minor things or anything that actually doesn't actually help you lead to what it is you're trying to accomplish. Like I said, if you were in sales, your main goal is to sell. All of that extra shit that, you know, that, you know, sending emails and follow-up calls and all that, all that extra stuff that doesn't actually get you close, that gets you closer to your goal, but somebody else could do it, then, you know, maybe you should not be doing it. You should be focusing on the actual sell itself or focusing on whatever it is that you're literally trying to do. So, with that said, I am going to explain the day principle. Day principle, what does D stand for? The D stands for delegated, okay? You as an entrepreneur, if you want to avoid opportunity cost, and let me explain to you what opportunity cost is. Opportunity cost is anything that robs your time, money, and energy. Again, opportunity cost is anything that robs your time, money, and energy. Then you have to uh, start implementing the day principle. And number one of the day principle, the D, is being able to delegate uh, minor things where you uh, to to people around you, qualify people around you. Why? Uh, while you actually focus on the major things and what is the major things only you can answer that question things that actually get you closer to uh, your ultimate goal things that actually get you closer to what it is you want uh, to accomplish like I said as I use the sales uh, sales example I uh, say you're a real estate agent your main thing is getting contracts signed signed and setting up closings and actually not even setting up closings, but actually being at the close okay that's major. Going out and putting out signs and all that, all that shit is minor. You should hire somebody else for that. But you might say, well, AJ, that's going to cost me. Of course it's going to cost you, but you have to also look at the opportunity cost. If your opportunity cost is <clears throat> time, money, and energy, wouldn't you rather be focused on putting your time, money, and energy into something that's actually going to help you close more deals, close more sales, accomplish what it is the major part of what it is your business do does i'm sorry that is selling your product or service so learn to delegate the d in the day principle d-a-e in the day principle learn to delegate minor activities and while you focus on the major ones number two which is the a of the day principle learn to automate okay and you might say what do you mean, AJ? Automate. Okay, here's the thing, okay? In our business, people email me, okay? Um, and I might email them back, or I might have someone else email them back for me. In our office, Barbara is the person that takes care of that. However, sometimes Barbara is busy, sometimes uh, uh, I'm super busy, and I don't have time to actually email email a person back, we'll actually put that on automation. Or say if we're sending out an email uh, to someone, we use email automation software to where um, I email someone, if they don't open an email, then I have it automated 
uh, to, to, uh, to send the, the email out again. Uh, and if they do open it, depending on uh, their response to me or how long they take, uh, I have it automated to where uh, extra emails go out. OK, uh, or say uh, just to, to give you another example of, of how I automate things instead of me starting uh, trying to remember uh, how many credit cards I have and how often I have to pay different credit cards or how often I have to pay different uh, memberships or dues. I just have all of that automated through uh, through my bank account. And that way I don't have to focus on all of those different things on a daily basis because it creates clutter in the mind. And again, it starts to rob me of uh, where it starts to create opportunity costs for me. In other words, it robs me of my time, money, and energy. So what you should think about is uh, automating processes in your business that can be automated, right? Like say, for example, if you sell t-shirts online, maybe you should, uh, you know, instead of, you know, putting everything in the spreadsheet, maybe use some kind of inventory management software that actually uh, automates whenever you sell something, you know, now you know what you what you've sold where you get now alerts when uh something is close to being sold out or you get uh, you get uh, uh alerts or you get reports automatically uh that allows you to know uh how your business is doing the last example i'm going to share with you about automation is uh, when we were heavy into the marketing space we had all these different reports that we would have to send out to clients on a monthly basis, basically to show them how they're doing, uh, uh, you know, how many like website leads that they get, uh, how many uh, hits that they get to to uh, to their landing pages, all this different stuff. But it's just too much to keep up with. So we basically implementing uh, implemented a reporting software that actually covered and actually uh, gave statistics from all of their social stuff, such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, Twitch, whatever, right? Then on top of that, it would actually send them a report on how much money that has been spent and, uh, you know, how many people they reach. But bottom line is, instead of me sitting down and writing those reports every month for every client or having Barbara do it, we weren't going to do that. So we put it on automation, right? And so I'm saying to you, to avoid the opportunity cost, anything that would rob your time, money, and energy, thinking up, think about in your business right now how you can automate certain processes, okay? And that is the A in the day uh, principle, all right? And last but not least, eliminate it, okay? You need to eliminate, right? Anything that uh, robs you of... Uh, what it is you're trying to do okay if your major thing that you're trying to do is say sell something a product or service uh, but if you have other activities that actually impedes you from doing that that actually creates opportunity costs for you in other words robs your time uh, uh, time energy and money then you need to eliminate it think about it in your business right now what you're doing in terms of your processes in your business that's completely unnecessary right Think about maybe something that you're paying for, some software that you have in your business that's completely, uh, you know, that could be eliminated. And I'm going to be honest with you. Think about people in your business that you have doing certain activities that maybe if you eliminated that activity uh, for them and put them or put them somewhere else to focus somewhere else, maybe it'd be more of a benefit to you and the major things that you're trying to accomplish in your business and at the same time can actually help you save uh, the opportunity cost, help you save time, help you save money, help you save energy, right? And so uh, this is what we call uh, the day principle. Again, the day principle, uh, delegate, automate, and eliminate.